All right, 1098 build part two. All right, as you can see before, we had the big asshole and I ended up taking the clutch out because I needed it on my new motor. Um, it's worn a little bit, but for the most part looks okay, except for on the baskets. Let me try to get it out of focus here. It's got some the normal wear where the clutch fingers are good. So I might need a new basket. Might need a new basket. But my original thinking was it dropped a belt. Or the belt broke and that's what happened. This is what shocked the shit out of me. Here we go. The belts are intact. Minus where they still got tension. And they are a little worn down. From what I think in either the rod broke because I can see it mangled up down here or something, but the rear head stopped moving. Well, the rest of the engine was moving and it tore up the rear belt, but it still has tension on it. So, uh, motor should be here next week, hopefully, and we'll get it in. But when I bought the motorcycle, it was never supposed to look like this. And, hey Nick, great call on removing that. It made it so easy for the motor to come out. Great call, brother. 